and I'm just gonna do a little makeup magic today. No need to watch this video if you have perfect skin. Hi, Lori. Or if you don't have any bags under your eyes or discoloration or creepiness. This is for um, women who need a little help de-aging the skin. And I have tried everything for my under eye discoloration and no product on the in the world will work on these on these eyes so i've come up with um, ways to really camouflage them i did my eyeshadow and i have no idea if it's even because if i shut one eye i can't see out of the other eye and and vice versa so i'm just going to go ahead with camouflaging hi sweetheart these under eye circles and they're not really circles i think what it is is because this skin is so thin you're seeing like the veins underneath i don't know what's going on i don't know so i found some ways to cover them up and one of the first things that i use to cover them up is our eyelid primer or eyeshadow primer and not only is it great for the top of the eyelids to create a smooth, smooth surface for the skin. It also creates very smooth surface under the eyes, and I will show you. So I'm just gonna pat some of this, very little product, just very little, right under where I have that discoloration. And not only does that help get totally rid of those really dark, discoloration what it's also going to do is it's going to create this really smooth hi Angela it's going to create this smooth surface for me to lay down my foundation so how awesome is that and I'm just taking a tiny bit let me show you so just a tiny bit it has a creamy kind of it really feels like nothing do you see it it's a very neutral color and again, I'll just pat that. Watch this. I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm going to pat that where I have that really bad discoloration. And I'm just going to pat that in and that will help when I put on my foundation. It's going to create this really smooth surface because I have wrinkles and creepy skin down there. And this creates just this beautiful surface and really lightens up. I know, isn't that amazing, Angela? It is, um, especially for me, because my dark circles make me sad. And I really feel like it just really ages my skin, just my whole look. And once I get rid of those dark circles, I feel so much better. So just like that, now I can go ahead. I have tried the red lipstick. I've tried every technique in the world on these and I've tried the greens and I've tried everything that's supposed to offset these, the eyes and I just can't get it right. Hi, Deanna. Okay, so now that I kind of really diffuse those and camouflage those dark circles, how many of you have tried the VFX? VFX, it's like walking around with a filter. And who doesn't love to use filters? Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna squeeze that a little bit on the back of my hand. And this helps diffuse all my wrinkles. And then I add just a touch of our CC cream, which is a color corrector. And it helps even out my skin because I have a lot of red and yellow and I really don't like it. And this just helps just even out my skin tone. One is really creamy. Do you see this is really creamy? And then the VFX is just a tad thicker. Just a tad. So I'm just gonna mix those together. I do is so I'm just gonna lay this down and I'm mostly gonna lay it down right and it feels super creamy. It feels just like you're putting moisture on your skin. Really, it just feels like a moisturizer. I'm gonna just lay it down kind of heavy where I want it, and then kind of thin where I don't. And then I will blend it in. Now, 
my favorite brush ever I got from Angela who's on here she's my upline and I want a brush set from her and this is the most awesome brush to use when I kind of just smooth out and I kind of I don't know stipple is the word I stipple it and I sweep it and basically I get the most flawless finish to this fat do you see what it's doing to my skin can you see the filter holy moly you would have to scroll back to the beginning but it gives a oh there's my mirror gonna go on the floor it gives this filter finish to the skin and I feel like it just perfects my skin completely if, if it was tight and firm it would look airbrushed I mean really airbrushed it's really a beautiful hi Loretta isn't this an awesome brush oh my gosh I'm in love with brushes that I got completely in love okay so I hope that's blended in I can't really see in my phone so let's just say it's blended fine okay I found a new hi Kimberly how are you okay so I have the foundation all blended in now because I have such dirt dark circles I'm going to still camouflage this area and I learned I've been playing and playing and playing with products and I found a combination that I love and that really helps nothing's going to completely get rid of this because I have very deep set eyes and what happens is it's just a natural shadow and there's nothing I can do about that but I can really camouflage this a whole lot better with the highlighter stick so I have a highlighter stick and I use this for highlighter all over my face. It's also good for a foundation, a really, really thick foundation, like our a fullest, fullest coverage. You can combine it with the contour stick and can come up with your own custom color. I ordered a new one then, that thing is almost empty. But I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna place that right here where I have that dark circle right here where I have that dark circle. And while I have it out, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my face with it. So I'm gonna put some highlights right there, put some highlights down my nose. How about at the top of my um, cheekbones to really lift my cheekbones, okay? How about some here because as we get older, we lose this elasticity really bad. I do, I mean, some people probably don't, but I'm gonna put some light right here because I'm gonna put dark below it and it's gonna look like I have a little facelift, okay? I'll put a little light on my chin. You can take it too, put it on. I have my marionette lines. I got a bunch of lines going on, okay, so just like that super creamy let me show you let me show you so this is this color and i ordered the new concealers okay they came out with a, a new concealers and i can't wait to get them but it just blends out do you see it's just creamy and it really blends out to almost invisible so so though it looks like i have a lot on my skin i really don't because it's just super blendable I can come in with my finger or I can come back in with the brush, but for the for some reason I like to use a sponge when I do this. And basically you can just blend with any method that you like. Fingers are just as good. Okay, so I'm just blending that. Then I'm gonna come in with one more thing over you see how this is really brightening up this area? And the contour and highlights really take years and years and years off a of face because I'll show you when I add the contour. 
it lifts and firms the face. How crazy is that? It's tricking the eye. It's playing with light and dark, and it's just tricking the eye. Okay, I'll show you. I will show you, but before I do that, I'm going to show you my last step for these troublesome eyes of mine. I'm going to take our bisque. It's got a slight bit of peach in it, and it's our full coverage concealer. I'm gonna put one more thing on here, and I'm just gonna tap right like this, just where I see it. This is just right there. And while that is drying a little bit, because I want to keep it really thick, I'm going to go ahead and contour. This is how I contour. I like to come up with the dark right here and make this a really pretty oval shape. I'm going to come down on the sides. Now where I put the light under it, I'm going to put the dark. So it's going to make this look like I have a high cheekbone and it's gonna give me some lift to the face. I'm gonna put it here. Then I'm gonna really lay down some shadows under here to firm up my jawline. And this step is gonna take years off my face. I'm also going to sculpt my nose because it's a rather large nose. And I wanna come down underneath here and try to make it look a little shorter. Just like that, I'm kind of trying to change the shape of my nose by tricking the eye. How cool is that? I can take my same brush, or you can take a different brush, and just blend this out. The harder you push when you blend, the more it's gonna blend out. The softer you, the softer the pressure is, the more gently it's gonna blend out. And do you see how that creates this beautiful glow to the skin, it looks so much younger. It doesn't look, it doesn't, it just looks like young, beautiful skin, right? So pretty. Again, just blend, take it up into your hairline, and we're just sculpting out and contouring the skin and giving it so much youth so pretty. I am so in love with contour and highlights. I cannot even tell you how much I love it. It just creates this just beauty to the skin. Down here, just blend it out. Just blend it out and it's going to lift, lift, lift the jawline. Just blend it out. And then for my nose, I can just take these two fingers and kind of blend that in, kind of push it down, get rid of that. And nobody's going to tell I put this on because it's it blends right into my skin. Oh, you're so sweet, Emily. How are you? How are you? I think you are so beautiful. I love watching your lives and your hair. Oh. Your hair is so beautiful. I've tried to do some of your hairstyles, but yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look good on me like it looks good on you, but I love how you wear your hair. So beautiful. Okay, so I think this is dried enough. I don't want it to dry all the way. I want to soften this. I mean, I don't want it to dry all the way because then it's gonna be cakey, but I wanna dry it enough where I like that really white color. Okay, do you see how white that is? Okay, I love it because I just think it opens up this whole area. I think it takes about uh, at least five years off my face, which yes, please, please, please. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. What do you think? Does that look better? Does it look blended? Okay, so say, so maybe you're not a cream person. Maybe you don't like cream. Um, you don't like the feeling of creams, right? We have the same thing in a powder. Okay, same exact thing. Let me just show you. It's our sculpt kit. 
and both of them are amazing like both of them so this one i just ordered a new one because look i use this every day and this is also amazing for eyeshadow so if you're like me and you have really creep, I have really creepy eyelids um, and I have very hooded eyes, this is really good as an eyeshadow palette. But let me just show you for Sculpt. So Sculpt is, here's our double-sided brush and here's this. And I just blend these two together, just like this, tap it out and then exactly where I put those contour sticks, I, I'm gonna put this sculpting. It does exactly the same thing. It'll still give you this really warm, beautiful, um, so we have different, what's amazing is there's like, how many, how many foundations to choose from? Like eight? Because everybody's skin is different. And you could have oily skin, you could have dry skin, you might like a matte finish, you might like a, a glow finish. So um, yeah, there's so many things to choose from. So I just wanted to show you this too. So this is just the powder and you just do exactly the same thing as you do the Sculpt Kit. Oh, I have an itchy nose. Okay, so the um, other kit that we have that I use almost every single day too is our three-in-one palette for our face for our face so this has the bronzer in it which i would put exactly in the same area that i put the contour it's got a highlight and it's got a blush this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes as well so our palettes can be used for the full face as well as the eyes but i'm going to use this today for the blush I'm gonna pop on just a little bit of blush color. And it's such a pretty pink. I'll swatch it for you. Okay, I'm gonna just put it on the tops of my cheeks and just sweep it up. Do you see the pink? Is that a beautiful pink? I'll take a little bit up on my forehead. Okay. And sometimes I get carried away with the blushes. So if I have too much on, it's because I can't see in my phone. It, everything is blurry oh, here. So, um, yeah, so I put too much on. I hope I'm not scaring you, but it's just the most beautiful pink color. Let me swatch it for you. Okay. So this is the pink color. Isn't that pretty? Whoops. And you can do it as light or, you know, you can do light. It doesn't matter. It's how much you pick up on your brush and how much you put down it's just all about pressure and how much you pick up so you can like play with the color <gasps> thank you Kayla you're so sweet it's you know what it is it's that VFX it may, it's a filter it's a filter right it's crazy so I have that pink blush now let me go ahead and pop on a little bit of I can use this palette for the highlight watch this just right here. If I go any further, you're gonna see all my wrinkles. So I just tap it right there. Do you see that little bit of glow and that pretty, again, that's gonna lift, lift, lift the cheeks. Just a little lift. And then you can take a little bit of that frost and pop it right in the center there where it's dark. And that's going to open up the eyes even more. I can't tell if I even have some there. Did I get some there? Okay. And that's just going to open up the eyes, lighten, brighten. Oh my gosh. See, these are like my favorite things to do ever. Is just to take a little bit of frost and add a little bit of bling. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is just going to blend, softly blend this together. So people aren't going to come up to me and say, oh, I like the frost on your face. No, I just want them to see this beautiful, um, all these colors just like really blend. And it just looks like my natural skin, right? It just looks like that's just my natural radiance. Okay. Just take it down just a notch. Oh my gosh, 
I think I've transformed this face. Now, the only thing I'm missing, hi Rhonda, how are you sunshine? The only thing I'm missing is brows, right? Well, if you've watched my videos, you know that I'm obsessed with our brow pencil, which mine is down to a nub, like a nub, but I found a different way. If you hate doing your brows and you can never get them even, what could be simpler, honestly, than a stencil, right? Well, I've had these stencils for like six months and I've never used them. But Angela, my upline, she stencils her brows and they always look perfect. So I found them. It took me a long time, but I found them. And I'll show you how easy this is. I just need my brow powder. Let me just get it. I have my light brown brow powder. Let me swatch it for you. Okay. It's a nice brown for brunettes not and blondes because it's kind of like a, it's not like a taupe kind of, which taupe looks really good on blondes. So if you're a blonde to a brunette, this is a really pretty color. We also have blonde. Let me show you the blonde. And then we have a dark brown. So let me get a different finger. So this is the blonde. More, see, it's a more of a coppery. It has more orange in it. This has more gray. This is a gray brown. This is like an orange brown. I'm going to use the gray brown. And I'm going to show you how easy this is. I'm going to take this stencil and I'm going to take, first I'm going to mark it because if I don't mark it, then I get my eyebrows completely uneven. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of brow powder on here. I'm going to go up and I'm going to mark that. I'm going to go ahead and mark. That's where I'm going to put the stencil, okay? And I hope that's going to be even. Come on, mark. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to make sure that it's clean because I've done it where it had different colors on it and I don't think I want my brows to be um, green or something. So let me just clean this. Then I'm going to dip it into the light brown. I'm going to have it all ready to go. I'm going to put the brown on it and then I'm going to just set it down. This is how I found it's going to be the easiest way. Make sure your um, thing is clean because I put it on dirty the other day and I got it all over my face. So make sure this is clean and then just line it up. Let me, let me line it up with my mirror. And I'm gonna take this down a notch so I don't have a big splotch at the front. Okay. I am lining it up with my brow. I hope that's good. I have very little brows, let's see. Then I'm gonna hold it down tightly with my finger. Hold it down. And then I'm gonna pick up my brush and I'm gonna just brush back and forth over the stencil. And work my way to the front. And just hopefully this is gonna come out. Where is my powder? Okay. Sometimes you have to reach in twice. Let's just do this. Coming back and forth, back and forth. And watch this. Look at that. How can anything be easier than that? Now, I kind of, I don't know what happened here, but I can blend that out. Let me just blend that out really quick. Do you see? Look at that brow. I would never be able to do a brow like that to save my life, right? Isn't that amazing? Ta-da! And does that lift? It's, okay, so these, these earrings, Rhonda, are from Kathy, but they were really long and they were all like these long strings. So I cut them. And then I took a comb and I brushed it out so it they went frizzy. Yeah, because they were too long for me. You know, so I had, so that's what's so great about these earrings. They're $5 and, and half the time I trim them and cut them to the length I want. But look at that brow. 
Is that crazy? That is crazy. Okay. The thing is to, did I use angel? Another thing is make sure, because I have another one sitting in front of me, and you don't want to put a different shape on. So move the other ones away. I hope I put on angel. Okay, well, we'll see in a moment. A moment of truth. Do you cut yours too shorter? Yeah, sometimes they're just too long for me. Okay. So I hope this is the same one. Oh, let's see. Please be the same one. Oh my gosh. Well, this will be the moment of truth because I had all the stencils in front of me. And well, hopefully this will be the same one. All right. Let's do the other one and get the show on the road. Okay. Okay, I'm going to dip this in. I'm going to have this ready to go. And I'm going to put on Angel, which is, I hope, the one I had on before. Okay, Angel. Line up my brow. Hold it. Got hair under there. Make sure. Now, the key is trying to do this even. All right, here we go. I hope that's lined up with the other side. We shall see. If it's not, I'll just wipe it off and start over. Okay. So just brushing it in with the powder. How easy is that? And we will take it off. And I hope they're the same color. <laughs> I hope they're the same color. I don't know. Are they, did I use the same? Oh, I don't know. Does this one look thicker? See, I don't know if I used the same stencil. But I think that's okay. Now, I put some red right here. Let me get rid of that. I don't know. Here we go. Take this. I'm going to fix this. White, like that, and I think those brows are good to go. Now I have smaller ones, I have smaller brows, and they're called Pixie, and this one is called Angel. But the fun thing is you can play with different shapes for your face without committing to that microblading, right? Until you found like a shape that you love. Okay, so. What do you think? Can you get any easier than that? Now, let me just add a little black underneath my eyes. I didn't put on any mascara underneath there because I was doing my eyes. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Yay, it's good to see you. Happy Saturday, happy Saturday. I just put on my brows super quickly. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the black tide and just just tap it in my corners i really love to pop my eyes and what could be better than popping them with a little bit of black just on the outside just ever so lightly and then i'll add some of our mascara i think i'll just use the zen for the bottoms Hi, Stella, how are you? Hi, Dawn. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the Zen. The Zen has a silicone brush and it's basically like a combing through your lashes. And it just coats them, very natural. Okay, let me just fill this in. And, oops, got a little bit under my eye. It's harder to do, hard to do, okay. And let me just make sure I always, I keep messing up, I keep messing up, okay. I'm just gonna make sure my eyeshadows are even by Blending, make sure everything is blended, super blended. So I'm gonna just clean my brush really quick and make sure my eyeshadow is blended. And 
we will call it a day. So aren't those brows, oh my gosh, I'm like so in love with this whole powder stencil thing. Okay, brush that up. Super simple. Okay, so remember that palette that I started with? I mean, I didn't start with it. Remember the palette, I'll, I'll pull it out. So another thing that's really fun to do is make your, any powder that you have. So say you have all these beautiful blushes and you have all these beautiful eyeshadow colors you like, take your lip plumber or a lip gloss. I just ordered our new lip glosses. I cannot wait to get them. OMG. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so this is our lip plumber. And you can take any shadow or blush that you like. And I'm going to take the, from the 3-in-1 face palette, I'm going to take the pink color. And I'm just going to put some on my finger. And I can create my own custom lipstick. Mm, okay. The more you add, the, the you know the deeper the color is going to be. So you can come up with your own beautiful shade of lipstick. Let me show you. Let me see. Whoops. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a really, but this has bling, bling, bling. Okay, let's put a little bling down here. Mm. This is called, what is this called? This is number 18. I didn't write the name on it. Isn't that pretty? So come up with, just play, just have so much fun. Playing, let me put a little, oh, this is so pretty. I could just play, play, play. Okay, add a little more pink right there. If I wanted just to add a little touch of pink. So they, I could keep playing. So I'm not gonna keep playing, but once I get everything on my face and I have everything set and I've gotten rid of all my mistakes that I've made, I take my big fluffy brush one more time, blend everything everything and the last thing i do i'll show you i've started to do this as well i just find something new that i love every single day with this makeup it is from that same face palette <laughs> no this is the different face palette i have three face palettes so for the sculpt kit there's a really light color see this light color Okay, I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna go right under my eyes as my last thing. Where's my favorite brush? Here it is. I have favorite brushes. Okay, I'm gonna take some of this and I'm gonna pat that just under my eye and then I'm gonna spray. Just right there. See? Add just that little bit of softness. It looks so much just like smooth, right like that. And then I will go ahead, spray this face. It will last all day. And I can go for my walks. Okay, there we go. Another thing is just brush off any excess powder. Any excess and then I spray with my time locker and basically that is it that's how I de-age this face this is how I get rid of all that aging redness and that oh those those eyes just like underneath my eyes just bring me down and just this adds isn't that pretty just that little bit of frost right there and then the bronzer and the pink just all kind of blend in together. Because I put the dark here, this is kind of looking a lot firmer than it did before. And yeah, so that is 
that is just some of the makeup. That's just some of the, um, these are my favorites. These are the things that I've found that work for me, but there's tons of other products. Well, anyway, thank you so much. Thanks for being here with me. I love you guys. Thanks for making this time in my home so enjoyable for me. Um, I have this escape with my makeup and I just love playing with it and um, sharing my time with you. So have a wonderful day. Do something that makes you smile. Um, go out and play. Do so. I saw some people with, uh, you know, electric race cars. You know, people are outside just playing, doing fun things, staying six feet away from each other, but getting some fresh air and riding bikes. And um, yeah, and, and you know, if you're inside, paint or, you know, cook. There's so many things that we can do. So thanks for being here with me and have an awesome day. Take care.